Hey guys, Bungie here and welcome to another tech tutorial. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a simple JavaScript user script to automate your sign-ins in the Google Chrome web browser. So, you might be asking me, Bungie, why couldn't I just use the default autofill or use a password manager? Well, if you're using a password manager, does it automatically sign in for you or does it only autofill for you and then you have to click the login button? You see, clicking the login button is not as easy as most people think. You'll need to literally move your arm like three or four inches and then press a mouse button or just hit the enter key which is a very difficult thing to do by most first world standards. And that's exactly why I'll be showing you how to fully automate the process with JavaScript. So let's get started. So for the purposes of this tutorial, I'll be using the scripty extension, which can be downloaded via the Chrome web store. Of course, you can use alternatives like Tampa monkey, but um, it's a bit more complicated and not as user friendly. So once you have the extension installed, um, go ahead um, and click Go to your extension menu and click on that extension and it will take you to this page and what you can do from here is press add new script and this menu will pop up so for the name you can just input anything such as on autofill um, and um, okay so the javascript code that you'll need to input is um, document dot get element by ID, make sure the D is lowercase, um, and then um, uh, open parentheses, open quotation marks. We'll go to the login page. We will right click on the field that we want and we will press inspect and a menu will pop up. And uh, here you have the, the ID of this text field, which you will then copy and paste in here. So uh, we'll close this up and we'll do um, dot value is equal to um, your username, which is um, between these two um, quotation marks. And we'll do the exact same for the password. Uh, we'll go to the login page. We will right click on password, inspect, uh, we'll copy the ID for password and we will put it inside the quotation marks, close parentheses, dot value is equal to your password inside the quotation marks. So um, the last thing to do is to make a line which will press the login button automatically. So for this, what you'll need to do is pretty much the same thing, document dot get elements. Um, by class name and for the class name you have to go to go back to the login page right click on the login button inspect and then go button class is equal to that stuff copy that um, and go back to the scripty page and we'll paste that in right there uh, close quotation marks close parentheses and make sure it's the zeroth index because um, you're returning a um, HTML uh, collections object, which is an array. So um, you just want the first index and you'll go um, dot click and um, close parentheses. Okay, now that you have this done, um, you want to select um, a URL contains and you want to go back to that page and copy the host name. Um, if your um, institution or your um, website uses um, an, a uh, dedicated authentication host, just copy this part. Um, if they also um, use the same uh, back end at the same address, uh, make sure you copy and you paste that in there like so and uh, trigger automatically on page load uh, will create the script. Now, if you return to the login page and we can close the um, developer menu now, um, if you return to this page and you refresh the page, voila, 
were automatically signed in. The best thing about this is that even if you sign out again, it will sign you back in automatically without you ever having to press another login button ever again. So, um, but I must stress that you shouldn't use this on a public or shared computer since anyone can access your username and password through the configurations. So um, make sure you do this on your own private computer, on your own private account. Um, so I hope I have addressed your problem today. So thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell to join our notification squad if you wish to see more tech tutorials, art tutorials, and animations in the future to come. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, see you next time in my videos. Bye guys.